Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a fun French braid hairstyle, and I'm going to start by grabbing just a small section of hair here at the base of her neck, and then I'm going to have her hold the rest of this out of the way for a minute. With this hair back here, I'm going to wet it down so that we don't have flyaways, and then I'm going to make two braids. So I've split this section in half, and I'm going to make a braid on each side. You can really do any type of braid you want. I'm just going to do regular three-strand braids. As you're starting this braid, you want to make sure that you're not getting it super tight up to the top of her head. I'm just kind of leaving that loose, and then I'm going to braid tightly the rest of the way down. I braided this down as far as I can go, and then I'm just going to tie this off with a tiny clear rubber band. And then same thing over here, I'm just going to make another braid and tie it off at the bottom. Alright, I went ahead and made this second braid, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to bring this hair down. I'm actually going to set these braids over her shoulder just so that they're out of my way. I'm going to be making a French braid with the rest of this hair. Normally when I make a braid, I would start clear up here at the top. This braid, I'm going to start down here almost to the bottom, so it's barely even going to be a French braid, and if you want to do just a regular braid, you can do that instead. I am going to spray her hair down with just a little bit of water before I start so that we don't have flyaways. So the first strand of hair I'm grabbing is just going to be right here above her ears, and I'm just coming straight across to the center of her head. That's where our braid's going to start. So I'm going to split this section into three and begin the braid. I'm bringing these strands over the middle strand. If you want to do a Dutch braid instead, you could do that. It really doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to be adding in a couple of pieces here from the side. I'm taking fairly large strands, as you can see. So I've really only grabbed three pieces from each side. Isn't much of a French braid. And then I'm just going to do a regular braid all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now that I have that braided all the way to the bottom, I'm going to tie this off with a clear rubber band. And then I'm going to go back through and just stretch this braid out slightly, just so that it's not quite so tight. So now we're going to be using these little braids that we left out in the beginning. One at a time, I'm going to take the small braid and thread it through the right side of the big braid, and then this one is going to go through the left side. So I'm going to take this and bring it up through the bottom of the bigger braid. You can start this up a little bit higher in the braid, or you can start it down lower, like where the French braid ends. It's really just up to you. I'm going to come up just right here on that last stitch of the French braid, and I'm going to make a hole just right there in the center of that braid. And then I'm going to put two of my fingers down through there, grab this, and just pull it right up through the top. If you have a topsy tail, you could use that instead, and that's going to help keep your braid a little bit cleaner. You won't have as many flyaways popping up if you do that, but I know not all of you have that, so I'm showing you how to do it just with your fingers. So I'm going to come down one stitch and just do that same thing. I'm wrapping it around, and I'm pulling it up through the bottom. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I run out of braid. So most likely you're going to run out of this small braid before you get to the bottom of this big braid. You have a couple of options. If you want to leave it down halfway just like this, that's what we're going to do. You can. You can just stop right here. If you want it going all the way down the braid, you can undo this and make another small braid up here and then wind it down a little bit further. It's really just up to you how you want to finish that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing here on this other side. And I'm wanting this braid to start at the same point this one is, so I'm going to bring it right up through that same hole. So now that I've ran out of braid on both sides, I'm just going to take what's left of these little braids and bring them to the back, and then tie them together with one more rubber band. And then if you don't want this end sticking out, you can either take it and tuck it under one of these braids up here to kind of hold it in place, or you can undo the bottom of this braid and add it in, and then just braid it back together, and that'll help keep it contained. I'm just going to tuck ours right up here under the braid that is above it. Just like that, and that should help it stay out of your way. 
So that is the finished braid.